welcome back to GM Academy. Okay, let us uh, solve this problem. Given function of y is equal to the inverse hyperbolic secant of e raised to 3x plus 1. Okay, so our solution for this is chain rule. Let u be equal to e raised to 3x plus 1. So our function of y now is equal to the inverse hyperbolic secant of u. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x using chain rule that is dy over du multiplied by the du over dx. Okay, this is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u, that is the hyperbolic or the inverse hyperbolic secant of u, multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x, that is e raised to 3x plus 1. Okay, so what is the derivative of the inverse secant u that is negative 1 all over u times the square root of 1 minus u square then multiply it by so using chain rule again for on this part we have d over du of e raised to u Multiply it by the d over dx of 3x plus 1. Okay, so let us simplify this one. dy over dx is equal to negative 1 all over u, which is e raised to 3x plus 1. Multiply it by the square root of 1 minus the quantity of e raised to 3x plus 1 square multiplied by the derivative of e raised to u that is e raised to u then multiply it by the derivative of 3x plus 1 that is 3 okay so we have now the negative this is equal to negative 3 e raised to u, which is 3x plus 1. So we, we just multiply the negative 1 to e raised to u and 3. That is all over e raised to 3x plus 1 multiplied by the square root of 1 minus the quantity of e raised to 3x plus 1 square okay so uh, we can cancel out here the e raised to 3x plus 1 okay so our final answer is dy over dx or the derivative of function of y with respect to x is equal to negative 3 all over the square root of 1 minus the quantity of e raised to 3x plus 1 square. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, our function of y is equal to 6x times the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3. So our main solution for this is v du plus u dv. We will let u be equal to 6x and we will let v be equal to the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3. Okay, so we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3. 3. Multiply it by the d over dx of 6x plus 
6x times the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3. Okay, so we have now the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3. Derivative of 6x, that is 6, plus 6x, times the g over du of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent u, times the g over dx of 4x plus 3. So we use chain rule on this part. I let u be equal to 4x plus 3. Okay, so we have now the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3 times 6 is 6. Hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3 plus 6x. Multiply it by the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent u. This is 1. All over 1 minus u square. Then multiply it by the derivative of 4x plus 3, that is 4. Okay, so we have now the 6 inverse cotangent, inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3 plus, let's multiply, multiply this one, we have 24 all over 1 minus, okay, u square, our u is 4x plus 3, quantity square. Okay, let us simplify this one. We have dy over dx, inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3 plus 24 all over 1 minus. Okay, let us take the square of this. 4x square is 16x square plus um, 12. 4x times 3 is 12x multiplied by 2. That is 24x. Then take the square of 3. That is 9. Okay, we have now the 6 inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3 plus 24 all over negative 16x squared minus 24x minus 8, right? Because this one will become negative 9, then plus 1, that is negative 8. So, we may write also our answer by this one, dy over dx is equal to. So, if you're going to find the LCD, sorry, that is negative 16x squared. Minus 24x minus 8. Okay, we have 6 negative 16x squared minus 24x minus 8. Inverse hyperbolic cotangent of 4x plus 3, then plus 24. Okay, so, but let us check first our answer. Okay. Oh, here, uh, the 6x times 1 times 4, it must be 24x. Right. Okay, so this one is also x. And even this one. Okay. Okay, so this is our dy over dx.
if you want to simplify this better. Okay, let's have uh, the last problem. Okay, our function of y is equal to the inverse cotangent inverse hyperbolic cotangent of e raised to x plus 1. Okay, let u be equal to e raised to 4x plus 1. Then our function of y now is equal to the inverse hyperbolic cotangent of u. Okay, using the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the dy over du times the du over dx. And this is equal to d over du of inverse hyperbolic cotangent u times the d over dx of e raised to 4x plus 1. Okay, so what is the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent u? That is 1 all over 1 minus u squared multiplied by the d over du of e raised to u. We will use another chain rule here. That is times d over dx of 4x plus 1. Okay. Let's simplify. We have dy over dx is equal to 1 minus 1 minus the square of u that is e raised to 4x oh sorry that is e raised to x only okay that must be e raised to x plus 1 okay plus 1 multiply it by e raised to u then multiply it by the derivative of x plus 1 that is 1 okay so we have now 1 times e raised to u times 1 is okay our derivative derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e raised to u which is x plus 1 all over 1 minus the quantity of e raised to x plus 1 quantity square this must be square okay okay so again this is the derivative of y our given function with respect to x there you go thank you for watching